Okay, so this should be familiar to some of you. This is a little something for Spooptober that I wanted to do. I have an admin of Active Worlds leading me around to show me the various things that I missed three years ago. More than three years ago now. And this is um, being recorded. It's not live. Just so the server doesn't get flooded. But many of you will remember several years ago I did an active world stream and ran into someone and it turned into a bit of a meme video. But more than that, it was really interesting to see these like old abandoned worlds that people used to chat in and spent all this time you know creating these massive structures and all these really intricate details and then they just get abandoned and well Garrick still runs the server Garrick is still here and Garrick shows up every now and then and I'm gonna get a guided tour so Let's check it out. I have no idea if any of this is going to be good, but, you know, join me for the ride, I suppose. Let's see what happens. Um, I'll be typing to Garrick, and I'll be reading out his chat messages to you if I have any questions. Okay, you may lead me. <laughs> so... So, yeah. Controls are really awkward. So, if it looks clunky, it is. Uh, I think this is an avatar choosing station, but I'm just gonna stick with this... ...dude that I had from last time. You know, Active Worlds, for those of you who don't know, is an old online chat program. Kinda like Worlds, kinda like Second Life, but... I don't really know what the... ...where this came from, and... Oh, I think he's doing a thing. Into the hell where all players came upon death in-game. <laughs> that sounds... That sounds relatively interesting. I don't want to get too far ahead of him. But this is just where I started. This is AW Myth. Which I think is, um... It's all, like, horror and spooky shit. And this is what exactly what I want. Horror and spooky shit. Um, there may be music. My question of was there music and Garrick said maybe. There could be some music. And if not, you'll hear some anyway. Hall of the Ice Panther, the younger of the two Lords of the Moon Cult. Oh, we're going full RP. This dude... This dude knows what he's doing. Oh, 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 shit. Uh... I don't think I was supposed to do that. You are not dead. <laughs> oh, okay. No, this is all part of the plan. This is fine. Trying to find a reasonable camera angle. Okay. Is that a skeleton? Oh shit. I, I suppose these are hell cages. You know, if anyone has sinned, they go here. So again, someone 
spent a long time, I don't know if it was Garrick himself or a whole collaboration of people, spent a long time making all the- why do I have a sword now? I have a sword. I like some kind of... weapon. Interesting. Um... Yeah, so this whole place was made, I guess, specifically for role-playing, and I'm not exactly... I mean, I can... RP! But I, I don't... I don't exactly... Do, do the real RP. So I'm completely out of my depth. But, oh, oh. What the hell is all this shit? Garrick has disappeared, by the way. L let's make it clear, Garrick is not an AI. Garrick is a real person, I think. I'm pretty sure- no, it's- Garrick is a real person. Uh, speaking of real people, I don't know if these are actual players that have a little storyline. These objects were built April 21st, 2007. Interesting. I'm gonna try to find my way out of here. The- the animations... are as clunky as can be. But I guess when you're playing a game this old... even older than 2007... When was Active... Worlds started? Senior year of high school for Garrick, when others may have been doing other high school senior activities around April. So Garrick was busy doing this online stuff, where you hear all the time. Personally chat, even though there's no one here, it's- this is not a live stream, I'm still calling everyone chat. Personally, I was chatting with people in Half-Life mods. Those are my online chat rooms. Garrick says that he was here just about all the time. I was playing Warcraft 3 and Half-Life mods and... and, uh... that was my time. I didn't really play Second Life or any... I didn't- I didn't really, um, spend a lot of time in- in chat rooms like this. But... I'm trying to figure out- like, I'm clicking around, I don't have my mouse showing, but I'm looking for... some way. There's a candle over here that's- that's interactive. Oh! I found it! You have to click on the candle. Oh shit. We got another teleport. I think this is- Back to the beginning. Yeah, this- this took me back to the beginning. Um... I don't know. I'm- I'm lost. I'm very, very lost. And I'm- oh wait, no. Uh, camera, please. I have died. That's what it said. The orc killed me. Um, do you wish to allow this user to teleport to your current location? There he is. I died. Where are we now? Feels familiar. Also, it's gonna be laggy as the objects load in. I have my visibility up all the way, so let me bring that down a bit. 
This is the main landing area, although not the one used in the most recent games here. I see. It's redesigned every year to satisfy my creative needs. It's only vaguely familiar. Well, I know Garrick went to a high school. Uh, but other than that, I don't know anything about this dude. Other than he's the administrator of Active World's myths. And it looks really cool. Um, when he contacted me a while back to do a tour of Active Worlds again, I thought it might help dispel some of the, um, forgive the pun, myths that were built up last time I streamed this. I didn't mean to disrupt the ecosystem of Active Worlds when I did that, but apparently after I did the exploration in 2016 and the Hitomi Fujiko thing became a meme. It even made it to a Swedish radio show, if I'm not mistaken. And the video really blew up. Um, a lot of tourists showed up to, um, you know, play around and, and RP and, and quote the video and um, if I'm not mistaken, there were some people, some folks were pretty upset. Not just at them, but also a little bit at me. Which, fair enough, I understand that. If you have this secret chat room that you enjoy, and then suddenly a bunch of people show up and try to recreate a meme video. And to further dispel the myth of 2016, I did think it was an AI at first, because when I played Worlds, there was scripted dialogue, there were scripted sequences, there were NPCs, kind of like, let's say this panther over here, that you'd get close to and it would say stuff, and it was equally creepy. I hear noises. I hear something. Um, pretty quickly I learned that uh, it was actually a person that was um, leading me around through AW Myths and... or AW Myth and uh, and I just went along with it because it was fun. Still creepy. But yeah, make no mistake, this isn't some like elder god demon or maybe it is. I'm not sure. No, it's probably just some dude who went to high school. The moon cult chants beneath the ground. Uh, well, I mean, for a low poly game, you know, and it definitely does lag a little bit, but for a low poly game, some of this stuff looks pretty good still. And. Again, it's all here. Apparently, Active World is owned by one person. And there, there may have been like 50 people on when I joined today. Hallowed ground where the ancient ritual that concludes my book about this game takes place. Book? I didn't know he wrote a book. Check out some performance settings. Oh, you have to restart to get any settings changed. Something tells me even if I lower the settings, it's still going to be kind of crusty. I released a fantasy book titled The 
Griffin's crystal to tell the stories of the game that were that were played here. It was played here. Interesting. How many years does it span? Kind of curious. Like two thousand seven, the dude was here. Just kind of still holding on to this. It's kind of a tragedy in some ways. It's like when you have that group of friends that you grew up with, or you finally meet people online or whatever, and then slowly people move on, whether they get jobs or, you know, have kids or just kind of move on and go elsewhere in life. Follows my three friends that helped me build this game as the main protagonists as they work to prevent the rise of darkness or me. I see. I'm... <laughs> I'm exercise caution. That's supposed to be aisle. The entire series is planned to tell around 140, 160 years of story, which was played in a span of seven years in real time. Oh. Show me other oddities, if you desire. <laughs> I don't really RP. I'm doing the best I can virtual chat that I have to pretend is there, but isn't. And he's gone. Oh, oh, has invited you to... Okay, so I've been invited... Oh. What's going on? I, I think I'm in the ground. Well, that kind of kills the mood. All right, we're good. I didn't mean to do caps, but let's roll with it. Let's pretend it's an RP. Um, we're the only two people in this server. There are other people in active worlds. No one was speaking. I think there was about 50 people. Several were bots. I don't know if they're just idling or they just meet up to chat like once a year i'm not really sure how that works vampires lived in a cave system to the far east I'm not really sure the people that are still devoted to this game how they how they use it and i respect that kind of thing because it's something that they enjoy it's something that brings them happiness in some way and but that said i mean i i saw nobody Pretty much. I just saw a couple bots and Garrick, and that was it. Vampires were disgusted players, not fit to call themselves as evil as the drows from D Doratim. Well. I'll, j I'll just let him do that. In the latest version of the GM bot, players could drink other races' blood to change their race. You're not carrying enough money for this item. Oh, well, these are... You can buy these items.
Interesting. Just gonna follow this dude's lead. I think he may be messing with the prices of the items, I'm not sure. But I still can't pick these up. Black gauntlet. You may accept or... So he's giving me something called a black gauntlet. It's in the chat. Here. Accept. Okay, so I have... I have that. Um... How... how... Do I use it? Last time I played this game was 2016, so this is not something I really know about. Uh, hang on. Wrong one. Use black gauntlet. The item does not do anything. Commitment. It's definitely, definitely commitment. I'll tell you what I have memorized. The gorilla sucking on the taco. I know where it is. I know how to, I know how to show it to you if I need to. On a moment's notice. That's it. Gauntlets have some other commands. They're part of rollout that allow players to dual wield weapons and equip armor to various body parts. Okay. I kind of stuck down here. Or I could have just done that. Just like real life. There's a um, combat mode. Is now in combat mode. Okay, so I have combat mode. There's nutrition, there's hydration, mana. Okay, so here's a new area. It's the top of a volcano. The Pylosia volcano, birthplace of the drow race. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll just follow him. Okay, now I hear some sound effects. It's telling a story. <laughs> Upon the first year of the age of two suns, there sat the volcano island Pylosia, where the Corthian and <laughs> Nyarian oceans joined. In the second year, rays of the two suns reflected off the moon directly into the volcano on Pylosia. So there's a bunch of lore here. Um, this was a mini-quest with a boon at the end, and told a bit of history and lore of the drows. I understand. As a result, the volcano gave rise to a new race of 
hermaphroditic griffins, which developed into drows, you have died. Oh. I'm going rogue for a minute. Looks like you can buy a horse. Like a big lore statue. Boy, my character dies a lot. But when you run like that... I suppose death is the only option. Um... This is definitely... Yeah, this is familiar, but... It, it's still... Pretty different. I'm gonna ask... This dude, if he can take me to some of the old areas. If... You've seen my video. Could you take me to several old areas? The ones that I had previously visited. I'm not sure if he was the admin when I visited this place years ago, but I will definitely ask. Also, confirmed, he is not Hitomi Fujiko. That, I know for a fact. So. kind of like this place. I like the architecture, as simple as it may be. Just kind of a cool place to live and throw an eyes wide shut party. I mean, why not? I already have the mask. You can't jump or fly in this world. But, similar to Second Life, you can usually jump and fly. There appears to be some limitations, depending on the worlds you visit. Also like Second Life. Oh. oh. I remember this place. I remember this. Already I remember this. No, I don't. Lied. Totally lied. I thought that was a different area. This, I think I remember? Is this like you go up? Let's see. Mount Lion. That's the name of this place, apparently. Do not enter very hot water. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright, there's a scutal just hanging out above the water, so yes. I, I would agree. A little pet project of my co-creator, Ryan, that was way out where no one ever went. So that's what this place is. Again, you have to imagine that someone poured their... You know, their live lives, or several people poured their lives into this thing. And how many people saw it? A couple? Which is why I am fascinated by this stuff, even though I don't do it often. Virtual archaeology. It's still very interesting. Wow, I just got stuck in the door. I mean, you couldn't... you couldn't plan that. There's a working clock tower here.
That is the correct time. That still works. That door does not open. Works according to VRT time. Oh, okay, it's 11 p.m. just about in VRT. Virtual reality time. This game has its own time zone. So everyone is always on the same time no matter where they are in the world. It's actually kind of a neat idea. It doesn't appear I can interact with the bed or any of the cabinets. I don't know what the hell Garrick is doing. But he is a wizard. Basic structure of the building in this game. Okay. Create and then rotate. Found something interesting. The blacksmith. Mount Eden, home of the werewolves and Christmas celebrations. Ah, yes. Definitely two things I always picture together. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Okay. Physics manipulation for ice skating. <laughs> and yes, that is the Macarena. Nothing is scarier than the Macarena. This is a true horror stream. Vacant, furnished. This place is for sale, I guess. Maybe you could own the place. I don't know what kind of virtual currency or how to get that virtual currency you'd need, but I'm sure this place is just prime real estate in front of the ice skating rink and the Macarena dude, but, but everything else here is just perfect. Interesting. The Colosseum of some sort. Kind of 
kind of reminds me of Pompeii. What is this? What the... F where'd he go? It's gone. But I don't really know if this is the same area. It looks like it's in the same region, but I don't know if it's the exact same area from before. Over there. And I can't tell. I think this might have been the area I've been to. Here's another little mini quest, apparently. Um, in terms of areas I've been to... <laughs> Areas I've been to already, I- it- memory is vague, but I remember one orc area. It's definitely orcs. I'm being told that this is a bad idea. I'm really being serious though, this is a poisonous and deadly alchemy lab. At this point, you are either um, authorized personnel or incredibly mentally ill. Oh, dear lord. Okay. That's a hell of a sign you got there. Either way, touch this sign to proceed into the real alchemy lab. I don't think you're a real alchemist. In fact, I think you lied to me as you walked through all those doors. What the fuck? Floating. We're apparently underwater, and even Garrick doesn't know why. <laughs> Try proving yourself as a real alchemist. You have to prove that you know your potions. Please select the potion on that little table that can potentially cure me of lycanthropy. Blue. Let's see if you can identify the ingredient in the main room. I guessed. I guess that was correct. I wouldn't leave the main ingredient li just lying around. You're not a fraud. If you're not a fraud, you will know the way out. That's what it says below when I click the scroll. I... Hmm. I, I am never claiming to be an alchemist. Uh, yes, I am a fraud. So now it's leaving me to figure out how to do this. I have absolutely no idea how to do any of these quests that I made myself. <laughs> so we're stuck here. Forever. variety of different objects 
and places on the wall. You regain 10 stamina. Definitely not lacking the stamina. Endurance in the virtual space. I guess I have to climb some of this stuff. I don't know how to jump. I'm going to find out how to jump. I'm going to rebind how to jump. Okay. Shit. The true horror is platforming in active worlds. That is the scariest thing. platforms don't bring you with them. You have to just continually walk. I am dead. Third death. Well, that's a thumbnail. Now it's a thumbnail. Fucking dragons? The Eastern Dragon Empire. Do the dragons talk? What a dumb question. Featured notably in the Myths of Magic edition of the book. This is a whole world. In this game, the dragons spoke. This is like years of this dude's life, and, and several other people. These dragons worship gods. They built enough lore... ...for a book. It's kind of mind-blowing, if you think about it. Temple of the Gods. Royal Nest of the Elder Female. I don't think I want to go in there.
You have died. Screw it. No, they're not intent on killing me. Dragonborn characters in 2007, preceding Elder Scrolls Skyrim. 2007, however, is the elven year of the Lord. Um, Dragonborn characters preceding Skyrim. Cash them. Bethesda checks. The ones they're getting for their new $100 a month scam. Oh wait, one hundred dollar a year. <laughs> God, could you imagine a hundred dollars a month to play Fallout seventy six? Fuck all of that. No, a hundred dollars a year. Still a hundred dollars too much. This game was six ninety five a month from AWI. When did it go free? One hundred dollars a year, he says, which is probably why this got into the state it is in today. Which is to say, dead. Or dead-ish. Hey, at least the water looks nice. It went free in 2015 or 2016, maybe 2014. Second Life, I don't think, ever had a subscription. There may be some kind of subscription. But from what I remember, Second Life was always about purchasing coins or dollars or Linden bucks and then using those and then they would make money by proxy of selling virtual uh, goods and currency. But yeah, I think an online chat room at a price like that, it's a little much. And these things come and go, yet their communities remain, VR chat being one of the most recent examples. VR chat was huge a couple years ago, lots of memes, people using VR for the first time, people not using VR, and then you don't really hear too much about it anymore, but I'm, I'm sure it still has a very dedicated fan base, and I'm sure that Second Life does too. Even though that's banned on Twitch. For good reason. I feel. Well, that's not true. If you can keep your shit together... Huh. As a player built home, although I suppose now it's haunted. I forgot that mirrors were a thing. Yeah, that caught me off guard. Whoa. 
Oh, that is a weird mirror. That was huge when we got the ability to create a mirror. Totally caught me off guard. It's a weird mirror. It looks like a, a video camera. I think this is more of a camera than it is a mirror. I mean, similar effect is achieved, but yeah, you can see that lag when the camera switches, too. Strange. Whoa. What the hell, dude? What the hell are you doing? Oh! <laughs> yep, this is how mirrors work, definitely. Definitely. Who's this? Fake Gandalf? Fandalf. That was a really weird, young Gandalf. Boy, I can't wait for Lord of the Rings Amazon to have... Gandalf running around at the tender age of 20 years old. Played by one of... The Jonas Brothers. No, that's not the new thing anymore, right? That's not a good reference. That's an old reference. I don't know who the new thing is. One Direction. Johnny Direction is going to play Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings Amazon show. So Garrick says again, this was someone's virtual house. Now abandoned. I wonder what that person's life is like at this point. I wonder if that person has a job. A family. I wonder if they even play video games anymore. It's another player's house. June 6th, 2009. Over 10 years ago, this house was created. Even then, it was still kind of past the prime of active worlds, if you think about it. Fruit. Fruit. The fuck? She chose a non-solid door. As you can see, some people may get crazy in their homes. Clearly. I've never seen what you're seeing right now until right now. Is what Garrick just said. Concerning those horses. Oh! The horses aren't... ...supposed to do that? I've been here before, but somehow didn't catch that. So they're either not supposed to do this, or... Garrick just never noticed it. Um, I'm a dance machine. Click. Mini Mule says I'm a dance machine. Huh. Okay. These horses aren't dancing. Those horses are... ...behaving as miniature horses should. This house has a little zone that lets you see the entire land. Oh, that's- that's something I would like to see. Fogged out. Unless you're in the home.
go upstairs. But yeah, 10 years, a lot can happen. A life can change drastically. I wonder if they even remember this. I wonder if in, let's say, 30 years from now, you take the people that made these houses and you show them and say, hey, you made this. This is, this is your thing from 40 years ago. I wonder what kind of reactions, what kind of emotions, what kind of memories those would, that would elicit. Because that is something that I think about. I have some World of Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3 maps that I made that if I saw them again, I would feel that way. Same for my Half-Life maps. I made a couple Half-Life maps that I never finished, that I wish I did, that I wish I still had. I had a Castlevania-themed map too. But it sadly never went anywhere. And if I could find those maps, if I ever would have been able to play them again, it would have been kind of amazing. The closest thing I have is my old RPG that I made. Both of them, actually. Stuff from 20 years ago. And yeah, it's weird. And also, kind of sucks. The RPGs, that, that is. But, you know, it sucks, but they're good sucks. They're my sucks. The night is the absence of the sun, as the stars are multiple suns, it says. The sun is merely astronomical forna uh, formation designed to produce heat and light, nothing more, it says. The sun is a fornication. No, it doesn't say that. And there's the moon. There's um, the natural element of arrow, of course. The nature of the planet is unknown. This reads like a Final Fantasy subplot. The moon is merely a huge rock trapped in the atmosphere of the planet. Like each panel and then center. The center panel. Oh, okay, I did that already. What happened to this horse? You feel helpless as the sword is lodged too far deep into the bone to remove it to save the horse. But the sword appears to serve as the key to the next room. Teenage angst mood with this one? I have no explanations. <laughs> He did. Yep. He created this. The fuck? You have died. The unicorn took me here. This place is fucking massive. Garrick just said, I built these so well that I have no idea how they work anymore and I keep dying. Creator proof. I very, very vaguely remember an area that looked like this. Whether or not it's the same area, I, I don't know. Um, there's a pickaxe for mining is required over here. Cersei Lannister? Is 
this? Archer's armor. It's just a number of things you could purchase, but... It's getting nice and laggy around here. Appears to be the marketplace. Feel a little bit of deja vu. The gold, iron, copper mines area. going in. I'm not sure why he teleported me, but I'm going back in. Only the strong may enter? God damn it. <laughs> kind of loses the effect of the cave when the visible area is only like you know, a couple hundred feet in front of you. Well, this cave system is massive. And back out this way. A lot of things that appear important, and then you get to them and nothing happens. Just like real life. Back to hell and into heaven. Okay, so this is the hell area from earlier. This is where we started. Yupo. I'm now Moogle. Is that a dead body? Yes.
So this is heaven. Still hell. <laughs> Never mind. It's pretty nice for hell. Verse 10.09, it says, The annihilation stage is the final stage for most all forms of life. It is the stage where the body and spirit is ripped apart from the inside out. Good, good sermon. Unholy altar. Where we can enjoy some nice, um, time with the community, the hellish community. Griffin's crystal and a tomb to go to heaven. And he's gone. Heavenly dragon creature. All of this is all very, very, very thought out. And there seems to be a number of... Oh, okay. There's a number of dragons. Why are there dragons in heaven? There's lore all over the place. Its beauty will be its end, it says. He tried to control this, the heavens and the earth. In the end, he controlled nothing more than his own grave. His greed killed him. The sun was much more violent today. You can see large lashing of fire spewing from its surface. We wonder if it's the end. In the game, if you chose Elf as race, this is where you went when you died. Everything else went to he Everyone else went to hell, he said. Mental. This does not look like heaven. This is not the heaven that was in my mind. Here lie the charred remains of Arthur, King of Fire. There's a bit of storyline based on the Harpy's Rune, which was in here, according to Garrick. I almost read that as Garlic. There's a song I'm thinking about, which might be added in post. It's the song from Eraserhead. You'll hear it. This video now belongs to David Lynch. Though to be honest, I'd probably like exploring this world himself. So that skeleton just disappeared. Uh, 
minus the question mark. mark. That's about all the oldest sites of the world, at least the ones on my teleport list. What will you do now? wonder if he continues to run the server. How long will you keep the server going? When I click that book up there, it says you are not dead. With world admin privileges, I can literally fly through the mountains and try to find more old quests, he says. The server is running as long as Active World Inc. still remains, still maintains them, which seems to be infinitely. Do you get visitors often? There's surprisingly like three to four avatars a day that chat with me if I leave myself AFK here and go to work. Random people who are never seen again. I was one of those random people and I wouldn't have been back unless you reached out. The only difference is I, I have an audience. Hopefully they'll enjoy this and maybe even come say hi thanks Garrick for the tour I wish you well <laughs> Godspeed, Garrick. You go fly through that mountain. Well, thank you, everybody that watched this special revisit for Active Worlds. It definitely still is creepy, though less creepy when you know what's going on. And I hope you enjoyed watching on some level. So please, um, you know, think about the things that you used to do when you were younger. 
Think about all those weird places that you went to. All those people that you chatted with and remember that they were in some ways real interactions with people. Whatever the hell this ending monologue is, I have no idea, but listen. If you got something out of it, I'm glad I did. I'll let you know what that is in a week or two. But Godspeed to all of you as well. See you on the stream. Bonus content. Okay, if you click on the cylinders... Oh, weird. Okay, you get a cutscene of some kind. It's a cutscene courtesy of his co-creator, Ryan. It's an unused story. Very interesting. No idea what we were going to use it for, he says. Who is this? This GM person. There's a bio here, too. It's just an empty bio for a... a some, I guess this is the, um... The GM, the Game Master, Grand Master? I don't- I don't know. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're under the world. Man, there's just an avatar down here. That's the bot, the program that runs the commands for the game. Oh. Bots in AW appear with brackets around their name. Well, that would have helped three years ago. <laughs> that would have solved that problem. I think I found a sombrero. Just a minute. Just a minute, I found a sombrero. It's the whispering. By the end of it, I programmed more Sims-like features like child adoption, pet adoption, horses you could ride, credit cards, banking systems. Why not... move to a different game? Why the attachment to this one? Um, genuinely curious. It's my own creation. True, but you could create. Oh. My own teenage creation that came right as I was peeking, says Garrick.
I think I understand. It's that connection that not wanting to let go. It's the same reason why I have a hard time getting rid of stuff that I grew up with. And I just have... I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder, <laughs> but I definitely have way too many things that have no use in my life whatsoever. Yet, there's some kind of emotional attachment or some memory associated with it. On one of those massive dragons. This game is also like my inner mind palace, says Garrick. It brings you a sense of peace and calm. Like my own personal mind palace where I can go and literally do anything, he says. In that sense, I definitely understand. For example, you can now fly. Wow. I can now fly. There's so much more. And shift. There's so much to this. I think I can shift through walls by pressing Q. Yep. Yeah, this is a very extensive amount of building. And I understand what Garrick means by having his own place. I mean, in some ways that was why I made Half-Life maps. In some ways, when I played online games, it was a kind of a similar thing, but I guess now my stream is my way to do what I need to do and enjoy that freedom to stream whatever I want, talk about stuff, play music. It's really, you know, it brings me that kind of same sense of, I guess, enjoyment. Maybe in a different way, but you, you get what I mean. this area here. It doesn't really seem like it's being used by very much, but change the color of the sky and paint with all the colors of the wind, Garrick just said. Oh my. Something kind of beautiful about this sentiment. I think I get it. And even though he only gets one or two visitors per day, if that, there's got to be something gratifying about anyone visiting the world and exploring and checking it out for a bit.
hell I'd want to show off all the stuff I made. Just so happens this has been a work in progress for, you know, over a dozen years. Can imagine the events that were held here or other places with, you know, 50, 100 people joining. I know where this is. We were here a moment ago. Okay. That'll be it. 